And I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. I'm so grateful for all the feedback and the comments and the subscriptions. I am so, I'm so surprised by it actually. I did not believe that this was possible and I'm so grateful that you guys are resonating with the stuff that I'm putting out there. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about four things. Four things that INFJs use in order to feel safe in this world. They're just four things and I'm sure there's more out there but these are the four main things I believe that I use all the time and I know a lot of other energies use all the time. If you are not using this at the moment I want you guys to start using it as an INFJ because this will really help you feel safer in this world and feel like you can go out and venture into the world without feeling ah what am I doing here kind of thing. You know, you know that feeling. You know when we go out in the real world and there are people around, lots of people around because there are always lots of people around. Then we feel overwhelmed, we feel, we feel scared, we feel unsafe, we feel paranoid, we feel all these random emotions. And these four things can help you feel safer, um, when, especially when you're around a lot of people, especially like when you're in a mall or in a public place. And as an INFJ, we completely avoid those places sometimes, but sometimes it's nice to be around people, you know? Um, especially because a lot of us are loners and we don't have a lot of friends, so how I get rid of my loneliness is I go to a public place. But I have these four tools, these arsenals at my fingertips. So whenever I need to protect myself, I can use these tools, right? The first thing, and I've spoken about this before, but a lot of people actually messaged me and said, how did you know about this? It's such a good tool to use, and it is the bathroom. Now you're going to think, bathroom? What? Anyways, let me explain. So what happens is that when we are in a situation, any kind of social, social situation where there's a lot of people around, a lot of energies bouncing around, negative, positive, here, there, everywhere. And as an empath, as a highly sensitive person, as an introvert, we feel our heart overwhelmed, our ears start ringing, our head starts hurting. We're feeling like, oh my God, what am I doing here? Why am I here? Right? A lot of times you just don't want to leave right away because you're in the social gathering for a reason. You're there to meet your friends, you're there to gather around with people you love or care about. So you don't want to just rush out of there and leave and without telling anyone. I've done that in the past and people don't like it, okay? People don't like it at all. <laughs> so what I do in that situation when I feel overwhelmed coming up and I feel like, ah, that feeling of just, I just want to get out of here. I always go to the bathroom. That's the reason I do recon missions all the time because I want to know where all the exits are and where all the bathrooms are. It's really important for you guys to figure out where the bathroom is in every social situation. And I'm saying this about a public place as well. If you're in a Times Square in New York, figure out where the nearest washroom is where you can escape to, right? Why do we go to the bathroom to escape to? <laughs> that is our haven, guys. That's a safe haven. You can go there, you can close the freaking door, and no one can come in there and bother you. Some people talk over the door, and I think to myself, what are you doing? I'm trying to pee here, but not really. I'm trying to hide here. But why are you talking to me? And I'll stop replying because I'm like, I'm peeing. This is, is this a safe zone for me? And it's a private area. I'm not going to talk to you while I'm in here. Right? So I'll close the door of the stall. I'll sit on the toilet. And I'll just be on my own. Like, I'm just there. I'm not even there to pee. I'm not there to do anything like that. I'm there to take time for myself and be on my own because I need to recharge. I need to figure out what the hell's going on. I need to figure out why I felt that way. Mostly I'm trying to figure out what was it that caused me to all of a sudden feel the sense of overwhelm and I can always pinpoint it to a particular person entering into the room and bringing their negative energy with them. And any, every single time I figure that out, I'm like, okay, that was the person, that was the reason I felt all this overwhelm all of a sudden. Now I know to avoid that person. Now I know I can protect myself against that person. That's the reason I'm going to the washroom. To hide and to run away as well and to kind of recharge, but also figure out why? Why all of a sudden did I start feeling all this negative emotion? We are empaths and we take on the emotions of everyone around us, right? So if a person enters into a room and they're bringing their negative emotions with them, we're going to feel it. And that's the reason we're going to feel that negative emotion come up. I'll give you a brief, quick example. I was at the airport recently. It was empty all around. There was just a couple sitting behind me, a Chinese couple, older. And, you know, they're really quiet and doing their own thing. I was really quiet doing my own thing. I felt really safe and perfect there. All of a sudden, I felt this real source of anxiety coming up. And I'm like, what's going on? There's no one around. And I'm not doing anything that should cause me anxiety. My flight is on time. I'm at the right gate. And then I realized that the couple behind me were fighting. 
And this man was really abusive. I couldn't understand what they were saying. Obviously, they were speaking in Mandarin or Cantonese. But he was yelling at her all of a sudden, really loudly. And I was afraid that he was going to get abusive. He was going to start hitting her. But I realized after a while that he was just a, a mental abuser. He wasn't actually physically abusing her ever. He just spoke. And he, she, she was like sh literally shivering with fear. Instantaneously, I had to get out of there. I could not do anything to help them. They were dealing with their own thing. It's not like I could interrupt because they don't understand English. There's no, nothing I could really do in that situation. It was my, not my prerogative. It's not my priority to take care of this random couple's problems, right? What I can do is remove myself from that situation. What I did was I went to the washroom. I went to the washroom because I needed to pee, but also because I knew that as soon as I got in there, I could close myself off at least for a few minutes and be on my own. And that's what I needed after that encounter. Does that make sense? I hope it does. The second thing that I think is really important for us is walls. Walls? All of these are going to sound crazy to you, but walls, yeah. The reason I always sit with my back to a wall, I always stand with my back to a wall, I always walk knowing where there is a wall to hide away in is because walls are protective tools. There is nothing that can come out of the wall and hurt us. Unless you believe in sci-fi and you believe there's like ghosts in the wall, which I don't. Um, hopefully you don't as well because a wall is a really great way of protecting ourselves. Every single time I feel overwhelmed by a lot of people around me, I will always step back towards a wall so that my back is facing the wall so no one can bother me from their back, from my back. And I only have to deal with an energy coming in from in front of me, right? So I'm protected from the back and mostly from the sides as well because I always choose a corner wall so I can always protect myself from the sides and the back. The only person and people and energies that I have to worry about are from the front and that I can control a little bit more. Does that make sense? That's all about control, right? Making sure that you're controlling the energies that are coming at you. So every single time I'm in a social situation, you will notice me if you ever if you ever meet me, you'll see. I always sit with my back to the wall. If I'm at a restaurant, I hate sitting with my back to the front, uh, to the people around. I always do yoga in a studio where I can have my back to the wall if I am doing yoga. I always stand in a social situation and talk to a bunch of people with my back to the wall. I always step back if, I, if there is no wall to a wall. I always like walking around in a plaza or a square knowing that I'm next to a wall. Not in the middle of the square, but next to a wall. So I'll be always walking around the perimeter. It's a way of protecting myself. And you guys will notice it as well, and I'm sure some of you use it already. But if you don't use it already, use it. Start using it. It's such a great way of protecting ourselves, right? Because we know now, because we have protected ourselves from all different corners, there's only one source that we have to worry about and that makes us feel more in control it's really really important for us to feel in control especially in these kind of situations the third thing that i think is really really important in my protection mechanism is headphones now i love music i love listening to audiobooks i love all that stuff and headphones and, and my phone's great for that but mostly i have noise cancelling headphones from sennheiser i love them to death and I carry them everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Even if I'm going out for 10 minutes, I will carry them with me because I don't know when I'll need them. I've used them in situations where people are just yelling next to me for some random reason. They're not fighting, they're just yelling at each other. And I'll just put them on so I can prevent all that noise from bothering me. There's a lot of information coming at you from your auditory senses. And you can close your eyes so you don't see. You know, you can close your mouth so you don't speak. You can. You, be away from someone so you don't feel or touch but you can't shut off your ears you can't really be like ah, la, 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 la. it's not the adult thing to do <laughs> but headphones especially noise cancelling headphones are like a literal way of saying ah, la, 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 i'm not listening right so that's how i do it okay i just put my headphones on i sometimes don't even have music playing i just have them in my ears to prevent all that noise from coming in a lot of times I don't need the additional noise of music, unless it's music that I really care about. A lot of times it's just noise cancelling capabilities that I want, right? My dream headphones would be a, bow, a pair of Bose noise cancelling headphones, but they're really humongous and I feel like I'll be attra attracting too much attention towards myself. Tiny baby headphones, I actually have them right here. These are the Sennheiser ones that I use. Love them to death. They are CX 3.00, but I think any Sennheiser product is amazing. Not getting paid by them, I love their products. 
but I always use that in order to protect myself, right, from all the noise that's out there because I can't really just walk away sometimes. I have to be standing there, but I can use this in order to protect myself. Does that make sense? I don't know if you guys use that as well. I think it's one of the most brilliant tools I've invented for introverts and I carry it everywhere with me. I carry it even to family gatherings sometimes because sometimes I just need to put a set of headphones in my ears and let the world do their own thing and step away for a few seconds, especially if I can't, if I can't escape to a bathroom, which is always the first choice. And the last thing, the last thing that I wanted to speak to you guys about in terms of protection, um, it's not something that a lot of people talk about. Um, it's not something that a lot of people use. I don't know if I would recommend it all the time, but it is something that I know some of you have said that you use all the time, and those are sunglasses. Sunglasses. I don't have a pair right next to me to show it to you. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. When we're walking around in public, our eyes, and I've said this, we have intense stares, and people always, always for some weird reason, will make eye contact with us. Strangers will make eye contact and smile at us. Babies, animals, birds, insects, I'm sure too, if they could. <laughs> So all that eye contact is basically pulling energy from us. Every single time someone makes eye contact with us, they're taking energy from us. We're giving energy to them. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of times you don't want to do that. A lot of times what I do is I wear a baseball cap and have the rim really low and I just look down the whole time. But I don't like that because I feel like I'm missing out on all the information that I'm trying to gather or just information in general. I like to look around. I like to see what's going on. All stuff. I really don't like looking down all the time. I miss out on this world, this beautiful world that we're living in, right? And I'm an extremely curious person. I won't be looking around all the time. What's going on here? What's going on there? What's here? What's there? And so a lot of times what I will do is I'll just put on a pair of dark sunglasses and that way no one can form eye contact with me. They're not looking at me. I'm not looking at them. They don't know I'm looking at them, hopefully. <laughs> They're dark enough for that. And that way I can just be I can just be in myself, in my zone, and I can walk around in a public place and not feel overwhelmed by it. Okay? There's this movie recently that I just watched a snippet of while I was on the plane. It's called Baby Driver. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but in that, the main character, the one who drives them around, I am 100% sure he's an INFJ or at least an introvert in general because he wears headphones everywhere and he has a pair of sunglasses that he wears everywhere. Now, I don't want to be as insane like that because I do want to attract people sometimes, but sunglasses and headphones are a killer combination to protect us from this world. Now, why do we need protection? Because we are empaths and we take on the feelings and beliefs and emotions of everyone around us. And sometimes we don't want to do that because it is draining. Sometimes you just want to be on your own. You just want to be with your own feelings, not with other people's stuff, other people's garbage, other people's shit, right? You want to be on your own and in those moments you can use these tools in order to be on your own. The bathroom, which is a weird one, the wall, which is another weird one, sunglasses and headphones. Those are the four things I think that I use on a daily basis almost in order to protect myself from the energies, the madness of this crazy world that we live in. What about you guys? What tools that you do you guys use on a daily basis in order to protect yourself, in order to uh, remove yourself temporarily from the socializing of this world, this mad world that we live in. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. And let me know what you guys think about the four tools I recommend. Do those tools work for you? Have you used those tools in the past? Or are you planning to use them if I recommended them? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right. I'll speak to you guys in the next video. Bye for now.